my gosh, what the heck is this? Hello, and welcome to Minicology. If it's your first time, consider subscribing and joining the swarm. Minicology is an interstellar survival sandbox game made by a single developer. It reminds me a lot of a more polished Starbound with endless procedurally generated planets for you to explore and build, or kill stuff and be a nightmare of the cosmos. The game officially releases April 25th, and thank you to the dev for an early key. And so, off we go. Aptly name our character, and hope that that will actually be true. And we have a little helper bot. And it looks like we've crashed here. Oh, great. And all my buddies died. We can open this up. What's in here? Tattered backpack, which is unusable. Good. And space rations. Health only regenerates when hunger is above 80%. A full hunger meter regenerates health faster. Do we have a backpack of some kind? Or do we just have this? That's kind of our backpack. Oh, great. We're all alone out here. Well, hopefully you will be helpful to me. So then I don't need friends to help me. And we get a nano tool, which... Oh, fantastic. And so we start the game off with some early D4 station oh no i hit the bugs and they're mad come here oh we can also hit that rock as well don't trust these bugs come here i didn't listen to what you were saying what were you saying oh we can actually kill our bot no thank you i don't want to kill him oh here's a crafting panel okay now we can grab this stuff and we can make a spear oh so there's random crafting materials that we just have to kind of play around and hope we get something nice Oh, never mind. We don't have to necessarily play with all of it. We actually have this handy research menu. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff already. I already know. I made a spear. That was literally the first thing I made. Do we have to make another one anyway? It's going to want me to make another spear anyway. Fine, there. Now we have two spears. Can we say research the rock? Yes. Yes, we can. So we can make a stone slab. What can you make? Solar panels with solarium ingots? Oh my gosh. I don't think we're ready for that. And we have a lovely wooden spear. And he's identified a threat near me. Fight the monster. Oh, it's a giant worm. Don't mind if I do. Ow, he hurts. I'm an herbivore? That needs to change. I need to be a carnivore. Meat is so tasty. And we can start that right now by eating this phyto meat. Ooh, there's a chest thing here. Oh, this chest has an electrical lock, which means we need a generator to crack it open. Okay, fine. Oh, fantastic. We can already make a furnace. Oh, let me go gather my materials. We need to make a bunch of stuff. So we'll make a wooden cog. Then we'll make a furnace. Eight ferret shards. And we can find these just below the planet's crust. Let me at least place a furnace down. It's out of my inventory. Oh, that's really cool. We kind of do a small little construction thing to it. And this appears to be a cave. So we're going to grab our spear and go down into the cave. Ow, I broke my legs. Well, that was a fucking mistake. Ow, what the heck? Oh, look at all this stuff. I break these crystals instead. One last secret. If you want to avoid finger cramps in the future, connect this furnace to a generator. Electricity will take over the cranking duty and save you tons of time. And it needs fuel to operate, so place wood or coal. We have plenty of wood. Oh, it uses it even though there's nothing in there. Oh, do we have to manually spin this? Oh, that probably would have been more useful. Go, 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 go. And now we're not a caveman anymore. Now we're a metallurgist. Now we need a basic mechanism. Okay, give me that. And I think it's gonna want us to make a hand crank. Fantastic. I'm shocked you get that so fast. Hey, I'm the one supposed to be making jokes, not you. Don't come at me. I'm the main character and you have to like me. Constructor generator near the chest. I can't do anything. I'm gonna harvest this instead. So we're gonna build it next to the chest anyway. And there's a whole power view. Oh. So we don't have to physically make any wires or anything. And now we need to spin it again. Are we good? Did it open the chest? Oh, yes, it did. We got experience. I'll we'll open the chest, which has a crystal extractor. Place on crystal blocks and power with a large generator like a steam engine to extract. And we have space soda. I'll we'll have to come back because our inventory is full. Oh, so the ferrite stuff is actually crystal, so we just need to build a steam engine or something done where we got the ferrite crystal. Well, for now, we'll get the steam engine. Oh. Well, never mind, we won't need to make the steam engine because it's right here. We can repair our spaceship, and then we can explore the stars. Oh, what the heck is that thing? No, I didn't know there would already be enemies and stuff. There we go. Do more of these crystal things. Now we can place this thing. We'll place it down here. We can't see Jack Diddly. We do have a giant steam generator thing. Fantastic. We need fuel. We need fuel, so we'll go back up. Oh no, we fell down again. Planet core will apply heat when you are underground. Get in and out quickly or find a heat resistant accessory. Just trying to find my way out of the freaking cave. And it looks like there needs to be water on these wheat crops to actually gain the seeds. 
Or maybe not. Maybe it's just random chance. We'll just mine all the foliage. Oh, and we kind of circulate the whole planet. Apologies to the flat earthers. This planet is at least a circle. Oh, bullshit! What the heck is this stuff? It's like copper or something. Yes, copper chunks. Oh, we're not the first one to crash because there's a solar panel over here. Let's break down and get crystal out of. Lovely. Did you do anything with this chest? No. So we'll just keep tearing apart the planet. Oh, what the heck is this thing? Oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Stupid thing. I was just visiting. Ow, it still got me. There's a whole house over here. What the heck is this? It's like a cat thing. Can't get over there until we mine all this stuff. Oh, we can pick the cat up. Throw the item in your hand. We can throw the cat? But why? Why would you do that? Oh, lovely. We're gonna take him home with us. Oh, there's water right here. Well, let me drop off my cat over by my house. Uh, maybe I need to go the other way, because that appears to be water. And I don't know if my character can survive underwater yet. I wonder if that chest just needs water, because it's like a little plant. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. You go this way, there's a lot of critters by my home. I was gone for like two seconds, you stupid worms. You stay here, little cat. Don't go too far. I'll go back by that rain cloud. Or it's just completely despawned. Wonderful. But this tree is almost fully watered, so can we get seeds? No, we can't. Those little things just ate that grass. What the heck is this thing? Oh, wait, it's shooting at me. No die. Oh, it teleports. You stay dead. It does, in fact, look like I can swim. And there's some fish down here to hunt. I don't know what the heck are these. Are these water blocks? Jelly blocks. So we'll collect a couple. Well, there's a whole lot more of these things. I only want one. And I dropped wool. So they may be sheep. And it looks like there's another chest with another robot. So we'll awaken him. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, whoa, I was not ready for this. Stay away. I didn't know you were a boss. I just tried to be helpful. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Ow, he does a lot of damage. Oh, I'm gonna die. Stay away. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? No, oh my gosh, I already died. Well, I mean, that didn't go well. I was just trying to be helpful. And it looks like there's more worms. You guys stay dead. I don't know what the heck that star thing was. Collect 30 star pieces before the event ends to attract a mysterious merchant? I don't really see any stars. We just need to kind of travel around and find them. And is this mysterious merchant going to murder my face like that freaking boss? Oh, there it is. Okay, bye. Those stars move quick. We could do something with the bones. We can make a bone spear, which does 50% more damage than the spear we currently have. So we'll get a better spear. Let's see if this has any other benefits to it. Eh, it just looks like we can repair it. We did get wool, so we can see what the wool does. Avian framework. Used in crafting brilliant plumage? Okay. Or cloth. Okay, what can we do with cloth? Make bandages, please. Item frame or a medium backpack. We just need the small backpack, which it looks like we need rope or something with the tattered backpack. So we'll grab our tattered backpack. Grab some grass. Maybe that's what's used for it. We'll make rope with you. Yes, yes, we can. Rope, or we can make grass seeds. Let's make rope. See what this one makes. Ooh, we can make a wooden shield, but I really care about our small backpack. We absolutely need this for more inventory space. And then we need cloth, and we'll immediately make a medium backpack. There we go. And does this upgrade? Ooh, yes, it does. What do we need for the big backpack? Big backpack scrap obtained from high level E Corp chests. So we're probably going to need to murder that boss for some keys or something for that. Grab our backpack and place somewhere, maybe. There we go. Ooh, now we have all these slots over here. As, of course, another worm spawns. Ooh, and we can make some meat-based dishes with a campfire. We'll collect the copper chunks. And more worms. Oh, we can charge it up. And we do more damage and we dash. Granted, straight in the face of danger, so we got hurt, but still. Cardboard box can be placed for lamb cats to play in. When picked up, retains the lamb cat inside. Oh, so those are cats, and I guess they're also kind of cheap lamb things. I guess we'll make one to at least kind of have one for company. What the heck do we need from a campfire? Can we make it? Yeah, there we go. Let's throw in our backpack for now. So for a torch, we need grass and sticks. And for wood, we can make stairs, windows, doors, walls, water pump. Draws water from nearby ponds and lakes. An empty bucket. Dear God. There's more. No. A primitive tool for watering plants. Or a rain barrel, which gathers rain. Oh my gosh. And a shotgun. There's so much stuff. Stuff. I'm gonna make chests and all kinds of other good fun stuff. I'm gonna make some platforms because I kind of want a house. So I'll kind of clear out a small little area. 
Oh, what? He just spawned out of nowhere. Screw you, little thing. I think he just did a critical for double damage. Okay, now we can try to make a small little house. Oh, th these are platforms, so they're not blocks at all. How do I make a block? Any sticks? Can I use the platforms for anything? No, I can make platform walls, I suppose. And the planks? Is this what we're gonna need? Oh my gosh, there's even more recipes. Oh my gosh. Arrow stands, Pidgey bug box. Oh, what the heck's happening? What the heck's happening? Ah, oh, I'm starving. Wait, wait, wait. Yummy. Jeez. You die so quickly when you're starving to death. Okay, wooden planks, boxes of all kinds of bugs, and a cannon? Stealing it and flintlock mechanism? Can we make anything out of stone? Like our home out of stone? Oh, melee weapons can deflect projectiles with a well-timed swing. That would be nice to know when I went against the boss. Oh, the lamb cat eats the little bugs. Oh my gosh. You gonna eat that one too? Yep, and it's dead. Here's a box for you to play in. Oh my gosh, three worms out of that? No, 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 come here, little lamb cat thing. Come here, get in the box. Okay, or not. Oh my gosh, this whole time I've been trying to make wood blocks when I can literally just make it out of the wood. Oh, there he is. Look at him sit in the box. Can I just take him in my inventory? Yes, I can. So now he's stuck with me forever. I guess now we'll start making our home. Kind of works the same way as Terraria, where you make walls and stuff, and a little home, and then you run out of materials, and then you trap yourself in a box. So now I'll continue construction. Oh, we collect another star. What the heck is this? I don't trust the little bots like this. What do you want? Oh, worms. Oh, and we have a star trapped in our home. Thank you. And that thing just appears to be scared of me. Oh, it's holding all kinds of resources so I can kill and gain resources. Talk to Otto. Otto's scrap shop. Oh, so this is the merchant that we can actually buy a bunch of stuff. Star Whopperator? Unlicensed bootleg weather operator. Bin bot holds items for you. Wheat seeds, thruster boots. I definitely want that. Oh, we actually have 60 stars? Well, I guess we get a bin bot, why not? We'll make a door. Place them in our lovely home. Oh, we need to construct these too. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Is this one at least placed properly? Yes, this one is. This one, not so much. No, not the wall, you turned the door. Now I can make a campfire. Oh, it's a tool upgrade. So where can we place him at? Oh, right here, drone slot. Oh my gosh, so now we have even more inventory space. Make our cooking pot. Okay, so better meals apply buffs, and it's based on the dish. We'll have to look at what that makes later. I guess we'll make a chest or two. And then we will also make a rain barrel if we can, which we can't because we actually needed an ingot for it. So now construct our chests. Place all of our home creation stuff in it. I'll go out to kill some worm things. Ow. Down to five health. I think we got this. And it just barely makes our plant meat steak, which crops have a chance for extra drops when harvested. Ooh. Let's so let that do its job. Rainbow anklet? Ooh, we can make accessories. A rainbow fragment obtained from rainbow events. Or star with a star fragment. There's stars everywhere. Come here. Uh, he's traveling the opposite side of the planet. I can't keep up with a star. But with our ingot that we do have still left, we can make a rain barrel. So then anytime rain comes by, we'll get some water from it. And we have another star trapped in our home. So we'll construct the barrel. Kill the stupid worm. Oh my gosh, it killed me right off the bat. Oh geez, hi, good morning. Yeah, I don't have anything for you. Let's see what this wheat can do. Grain-based dish. So maybe we can just add two wheat together. Grants bonus stamina. Lovely. While that's cooking, we'll go down into our mine. And there's another turd down here. Grab some more of these crystals. Do we just need wood for the steam engine? Or do we actually need, like, you know, water? I guess we'll go and find out. First and foremost, I keep falling down this stupid hole. So I'm going to place these platforms so I can still go down there, but I don't fall instantly. And also so I don't fall to my death, I'm going to create another set of platforms. Just like in Terraria. Fuel storage slot. Are you creating power? Yes. Yes, you are. Now we'll connect the power for our extractor. There we go. And I guess we'll just throw the rest of our wood in here. So then that can continue extracting ferrite shards. Here's a filling wheat grain bowl. And what do the fish give us? Deal 7.5% more damage. Ooh. But we're out of wood, so we'll need to get more. And I kind of want to travel in this direction and just see what's around. There's some copper and some more trees, which we actually do need. Vortex? Action need. What the heck is this? Fight off ways of enemies for new weapons and armor. Sure, why not? I think we're ready for it. No, you're fucking not. Oh, wait, I need food before I forget. And the world's gotten weird. Most weather events are optional, but need to be triggered. Vortex. Oh, we have to go to it. Fine. Ooh, come here. Come here. You have stuff. Dang it. Oh, he's gone. Oh, little squid things. Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. Ooh, we are powerful. 
If we could stop missing, that'd be great too. Did we not get anything? We killed all the squid things. Oh, at least we didn't die, so I guess there's some victory there. Oh, you. Hi. No, come back. Yes, got him. Steel ingot and ferrite ingots. Then I can see what the steel ingot's gonna do for us. Play after I collect the star trapped in our home. No, 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 god dang it. You stupid star, how did you get out? You left the door open. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I know it's the open door. Still. All right, steel ingot. Viridium, rubidium, solarium. We can make a machine gun? What the heck? I want this. Or we can make steel helmets and armor. Make steel bar with an extrusion machine. Or thermal shielding slows heating underground, reduces damage from fire. Ooh, that might be super useful. But I need a meteor heart, which comes from meteor impact events. Comet impact? Use your nano tool to destroy the comet before it explodes. Just don't get frozen. Sure, why not? So we need to go over there and oh, we only have a minute and a half. Character, you need to book it. No time for you, worm. Oh, really? It's up there? Really? I can't even get up there. Okay, now we're up here. Let me break it. I'm gonna break the comet thing. Oh, it froze me. Yeah, we walked into that. Oh, we have to click to break out. Oh, it exploded and killed me. I guess we did get some ice stones, so that's cool. Oh, hey, it's raindrops. And another worm. Ooh, actually, we get to see if they'll unlock this chest if the raindrop hits it. And no, it does not. I guess we'll just collect some resources, kill some worms. Ooh, actually, I think that's coal, which we do need. I'm pretty sure coal is what we need to actually make steel ingots. So this must be the core where we actually start getting hurt. As long as we stay above that, we should be fine. There we go, we got plenty of coal and copper, and we have a turd. This light thing. Can we take this? Yes. What the heck is this thing? Oh, we did actually get it. What is it? Resonance extractor base. Used to repair your starship for space travel. Fire its right arm and left arm. And now we got more worms. And we'll harvest some wheat. And hopefully this thing has made a whole bunch of stuff by now. Or oh, we got a turd. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Character, grab the wall. There we go. How many fair shards did it give me? Holy crap, we have 56 right now. Jeez. Haven? Hold up. No, no, no. Wait a second. There we go. Animals and crops can go extinct. Make sure you don't over harvest. Oh my gosh. That is actually really important information. I figured you could just harvest as long as possible. We can at least see what these ice stones do. Precipitator or coolant converter. That sounds like some way more advanced stuff than what I currently can make. We did get a lamp, so we'll just slap that right there. And I guess it doesn't need power, but we are going to starve to death soon, so we definitely need more food. Meteor impact? Oh, we do need a meteor heart. Yes. Now we need to go back over to the meteor. 80 blocks away, and it's gonna do the same thing as that frozen thing, so we need to be careful. It's such a stupid worm. Boogies. Oh my gosh, I hit the space bar. Oh my gosh, she's going faster. Stop it. Boogies. Ah. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, well, I had no idea that was gonna happen. What the heck? He shoots out, like, six little laser things that just murder your face. Oh, another death to add to the books. Ooh, but we did get a magma stone. And it's slowly destroying the planet more and more by all the meteors we're letting come in. We'll see at least what this does. And it does nothing. Fantastic. Well, I guess we have a rock, but it is really good fuel. So I think one of our biggest problems is that we're going into fights with very minimal health, always hungry, and with, like, no equipment no shit so we're gonna make some rope we're gonna make some vertical gardens we're also gonna make a bow and a shield and we're probably gonna need a bucket for our farms so now we're gonna place some farms up top construct all of them do we just place the seeds oh yes we do primitive tool for watering plants cannot be used to supply structures do these count as structures because so i think i just screwed myself on my wheat well we'll go check by traveling to the little lake to the left filling our bucket oh wonderful but we do have a limited amount of water because it looks like it did take it we'll need to be careful with how much water we're pulling from the lake small animals are called critters they need to eat pests to survive make sure areas don't become overpopulated i don't know what do you mean by overpopulated i'm sitting on this side of the planet just trying to feed myself not worry about planetary population stuff so can we yes we can water them can we harvest now was that just a giant waste of resources yes yes it was can we upgrade our shield at all no we cannot oh here are our accessories we almost ran out of food of course yeah we have more worms 
we might need this water pump to get water. But in order to do that, we'll need more ingots. Oh, wait. Oh, we need arrows. I think I need arrows from sticks. Dang it. Anyone bones before he runs away? Where's he at? He run away already? Oh, there he is. No, Jack Wagon, you missed. Oh my goodness, what a snipe. And we got a blue E-Corp printer filament. What the heck does it do? Combinificator, shotguns, and some armor that gives extra attack. What I need for this, more filament and an E-Corp mechanism. Oh wait, star, come here, thank you. So now we'll make even more food. Kill this worm. Now I'll throw our ferret shards in there. And now we get to spin the wheel. Make as many of these things as possible. And we got 13 ingots. So now we'll make some stone slabs, make a hand crank, and then we can make a windmill. And we'll place this next to our furnace. Oh my goodness, it requires four construction pieces. All right. And there's our lovely windmill, which looks like it only has one socket. So we'll connect it to our furnace. Oh, we just need to place in the wood for fuel and it should automatically turn it. Oh, we needed to activate it. We were able to do 13, it was able to do four. Now I kind of want to see what this resonance extractor base does. Ooh, start, 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 start. No, don't go there. Dang it. I want that star. Come here. Thank you. Is there another star nearby? Yes, come here. Now we'll get back to constructing the resonator. You know, the star gets trapped in our house. Come here. There's another one. Come here. Otto is going to absolutely fall in love with me. Right arm, left arm required? Not sure what that means or where to find arms. Ooh, Otto's back. Hi, Otto. I needed a star fragment for something. I don't quite remember what it was. What do I do with this thing? Star mail launch pad. Sends them to receive packages from other planets. Oh, so as we travel around, we can actually give stuff back. Oh, this is what we wanted. The star anklet for 10% movement speed. Basic jetpack allows flight. Oh my gosh. Oh, never mind. It requires a whole bunch of other crap that we are nowhere near grabbing. Yeah. I guess for now we'll make the star anklet. Can we do anything with this? Is this upgrade? No, it does not. I think to better prepare ourselves, we can make some armor. And now we can add armor to ourselves. So now we are a gray critter. Heat shielding. Ah, what the heck was that? What's her? Oh yeah, food. Food. Crap, forgot food's important. Urchant invasion. Fight off waves of enemies for new weapons or armor. Yeah, why not? I feel invincible now. We're fucked! Although, I'll need food. There we go. These urgent things. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Oh, what? Our thing broke. Well, we didn't necessarily beat the invasion, I think. Did we just lose our spear? Yeah, we did. Fantastic. But we did get space Sony and urchin spikes. We'll see what these do. Oh, it's a whole new set of armor that gives us movement speed and purple spikies. And all this urchin gear gives us 50% more defense than our ferrite stuff. So I guess we'll give ourselves an urchin helmet? Oh, no, never mind. We need an urchin crown for that. Urchin kings will appear after an urchin invasion. Oh, that was that little critter up top that we missed. Do we need anything in specific or do we just make it? No, we can. Okay, cool. Urchin body armor. And we still need more for pants. And now we look strange. It actually is the only word I can use for that. 33% run stamina use reduction. So now I'll combine that with our wheat. Satisfying urgent state grain bowl. So the cooking reminds me a whole lot of core keeper where you combine two different things with two different buffs and they combine into something that's better. More stars. Oh, and a star just popped into my home. Thank you. And now we'll make two more chests. Get another star. And now we'll start making some copper to see what this can do. Oh wait, Otto. Hi, Otto. And I don't think you have anything for me today because I didn't catch enough stars for you. And now our copper ingot. They give us printer nozzles, pipe swapper, or terrible armor. That gives us half of what the ferrite armor does. Orange pipe. Used to link two structures together can transfer both materials and liquids. Charcoal kiln burns wood into coal. Or peaceful transmitter, which prevents ambient enemies from spawning, which we would need a rainbow fragment. So we need an axle mechanism. So we'll make a basic mechanism to then make an axle mechanism, except we need bars, which we need whatever that is. Extrusion machine. Fine, we'll make another basic mechanism. We'll make an orange pipe, which looks like we can do in and out, but not from chests. Can we do it with these ones? Oh, yes, we can do it with those chests. So we'll break this chest apart, place a chest, and now we can connect these two together, except we ran out. And then these two together. So now hopefully it'll grab the wood and it'll start auto smelting for us. Vortex solstice? Sure, why not? We've been doing so well with these anyway. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh no, I forgot my spear. Wait, hold on. I need my spear. Even though we don't have our bone spear, it'll be okay, I guess. Oh geez, what are you? Ow. You do a lot of damage. 
These things do so much. Go away. Oh, jeez. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Oh, he has a shield? What the heck? That's not fair at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Ow, gosh, dang it. Well, we survived a lot longer with the armor, but we definitely can't keep going with a wooden spear to do invasions. Ooh, some stars! We'll set the furnace to make some steel. Now with our steel ingots, we can make the extrusion machine. How required? This structure requires connection to a generator and it requires water. So now I'll place it over here. There's already a lot of buttons to press here. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Comment? Sure, now we do actually have a bow so we could stay away from it as we shoot it. We just need to, you know, get over there. Avoid these little turds. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on, I was jumping. Okay, can we hit this thing? Ah, what the heck? It still hit me from over there. Oh, come on, jeez. Go, 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 Carter. Break free, ow. No, no, we we're so close to death. Oh, it blew up. I forgot it does that. We're getting better. We at least got it down to its third phase. Oh, worms. All right, so there's been plenty of events and not a single one we've actually been able to beat so far. Can we make any weapons with a stealing it? Weaver, 18 damage, as opposed to our 10. It has a whole bunch of special abilities. Breach loader rifle, 40 damage. Oh my gosh, what do we need for that? Ah, the steel bar from the extruders. And flintlock mechanism. We are out of wood again, so we're gonna go out and find some trees and explore a little bit more of our little planet. Here's some more trees. Ooh, and more of these things for bones. So we can make our bone spear again. And that chest is evil, do not touch it. So this chest probably unlocks once we kill him. Uh, we're not gonna be doing that anytime soon. So back to collecting trees. And killing worms. Pests like evils or pester flies will eat crops. Kill them yourself or put a critter near your crops to keep them away. Oh no, they're eating my crops. They haven't gotten my crops yet. It's scaring me for no reason. So now I think we'll make another chest. Place it next to our campfire. And this will contain our food. So then once we get more pipes and stuff, we can connect these two together to auto cook for us. But for now, we'll do it manually. And while that's being made, we'll make a wooden cog. Use the wooden cog to make a water pump. Crab invasion? Ooh, it'll get some food. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? How many bones do we need for the bone spear so we can actually have a chance at this? Three. One more than we have. Oh, jeez. Okay, what the heck? Spawn in my home. So many crabs. Oh, crab spawn. Oh my gosh, my spear broke again. Can I make another one real quick? Give me my spear. No, give me my... Sp oh, jeez. Ow, where the heck did my spear go? Thank you. Yeah, I'm running back home. There's more crabs over there. The shell to these things is impervious. Stay away. Soft underbelly. Yes. Kill them all. Oh, what the heck are those things? They have little wicks. I don't trust them. Oh, what the heck? What is going on? What the heck are these things doing? Oh my gosh, it has a bomb. No, no, no. Oh, jeez. No, 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 bomb! Bomb! Ow! No, stay away, bomb! Yes, killed another one. Little bomb that's in our friggin' home. Okay, we actually survived that event. I don't know if we beat it, but we at least didn't die. And we got a whole bunch of crab claws. What the heck do these things do? Ooh, crab armor, which also gives us amazing benefits. Claw spear. 16 damage. I think that's more than the bone spear. Yes, give me that. I want that spear. Empty core slot. Use an anvil to imbue a new enhancement. And crab meat gives us resistance. Take 10% less damage. Meteor impact. I do want that boost. And maybe with our new spear, we'll actually have a chance. Oh my gosh, this thing's ridiculously large. Oh yeah, never mind, we need our axe to do this. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, jeez, ow, ow. Gosh, how do you dodge those things? Oh jeez, ow, I couldn't get out of that. Stay away from it, it's gonna blow up. We got some more magma stones. Terraforming chests require you to plant seeds, raise animals, and place blocks nearby. So that's what this chest requires. I wonder what a special ability does. Oh, it dashes. So we can charge up our spear. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Oh my gosh, look at all the worms. So now we're going to take our hand crank back. Kill this worm. 
Oh, the rain actually slowly builds back up the water. So now I can place our water pump here. Okay, now what? Can we fill it with rainwater? Yes, yes we can. Water in this structure can be transferred using pipes. Oh, we have to use pipes for it. I think what that means is we're gonna take apart our wheat farm for now. Is there like a sprinkler system we can use? Is there anything in here we can make? Empty watering can. High capacity tool for watering plants. Now this requires a ferret bar as well. Oh, oh sprinkler. Liquids cannot be supplied manually use pipes from a pump or rain barrel. So with that being the case, we're gonna take back our farms. Ooh, star in the house. Oh my gosh, really? That fast? So now we're gonna take this back as well. I don't know, looks like there's another little bot who's running away. Great. So I'll make a small little home. Now I'll place some wood walls to prevent enemies from spawning. Be blind as a bat because we forgot freaking torches. There's some weed over here. Space we endangered. This organism is in danger of extinction. Now I'll expand a little bit because our home's a little too small here. Yeah, I completely forgot about the sprinkler. Need to make this. Which needs sticks. So we need to go and find a tree of some kind to kill. And I guess our wheat isn't endangered anymore. Oh, we traveled around the world and there's no more trees? Please tell me I have sticks built up somewhere. Yes, I do. Cool. Now with the sticks, we can make a sprinkler. Not really sure how this works. So let's slap it there and then continue placing our little structures here. Now I'll fill in the home again with walls to prevent critters from spawning and eating my crops. And now to construct all of it. Urchin invasion? Yeah, but give me a second. I need more pipes. Hit the frickin' thing. Now I saw the king. Hold on. Where'd you go? Oh, you left. No, come back, you turd. Oh, jeez. Ow. The king archer. Oh my gosh, that's the king archer. Found him. Oh Jesus, shoot! Grab the heart. Heal up. Oh jeez, what the heck are those bombs? No, why do they always have bombs? Oh, he spawns stuff. Oh, what the heck? How did he not die? Gosh, dang it! I don't know why I only hit one of the two bomb merchants. Okay, well, now we'll go ahead and hook these up, and then we'll start planting our space wheat. And now we'll turn this thing on, and hopefully it'll start watering everything. And it does. And this thing is almost completely empty, so come here. And so after that lovely death to an urchant bomb, this is our first look at Minicology. And if you guys want to see more, leave a comment down below. Hopefully next time we'll actually be able to get some armor and weapons that will kill things better. But that is all the time that I have for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.